And it's been time to do a hero mech. It's been time. So this thing has four ballistic hard points and four energy. So two ballistic go in each torso, which means if you're gonna want to use an LB20 or heavy gas, you gotta go with the standard engine. Now you can use um, a light engine, and you can put an AC or two AC20s in it. But I tried that. That's actually what I was gonna go with was two AC20s and some medium lasers, maybe an SRM, and the AC20s are just too hot, in my opinion. Um, it, they do rack up uh, a nice chunk of heat there, and it was putting me in some bad positions. Got a Mauler Bravo, Fox 4. We're gonna move with these guys down here. Oh shit. Annihilator E5, pushing forward. Vapor eagle, vapor eagle on our ass. Shit. Fucking flank. Batter's down. Spider took it hard, damn. That spider was spreading damage like a pro. Shit. UAV up? The fuck did that come from? Anybody needs an enemy UAV?
Ah, uh, he's dead. We got him, though. Nice little brawl inner city with a pretty simple build here. It's a pretty basic brawl build, and I mean, here we we only did 613 damage. We got three KMDDs, but we earned a lot of C builds and we earned a lot of XP. Um, I did peg one of my teammates, unfortunately, pretty good there, but that happens. And even though this isn't, you know, um, a super OP build, I mean, it's an LB20, you know, brawl build on a Cyclops. And the Cyclops is uh, is still, um, you know, it's not the the mech that you're going to be, you know, brawling all the time in. But it can, you know. Um, we earned a lot of C builds and a lot of XP. Damn. Now the dual LBX20 build with some medium pulse lasers or medium lasers is really the one that you're gonna wanna, you know, really go in on. And that's the uh, one we're gonna end up doing. But this one is fun as hell too, and I thought that it was, uh, you know, good to show the Cyclops doing something else. This is the Cyclops Slipnir, and it is a really fun hero mech. I haven't done one in a while, and it's time, so... Well, I haven't had a lot of time at all, actually. Um, I am so tired right now, I'm deadbeat. But we're gonna still do a video anyways, and I'll, I'll have to come back to it at some point and redo another video. I really don't have a set build for this. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one works best for me because I, have, I haven't had a lot of time with it, but I do have some some builds. And it's, it's not four times UX fives, if you were wondering, it's not that. Um, that that's that's a super popular build on this uh, this hero mech, but we're not doing that. Um, <clears throat> I'll play two matches or so, and each match I'll do a different build just to show you what you know what I've been using. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time, and I haven't had a lot of time with this mech either. So, um, but I've played a good amount of matches in it, and we're gonna. Um, it's a good looking mech, really. I was really hyped for the Cyclops before it came out. I was it was one of those mechs I was really looking forward to because I was a fan I was a huge fan of the design of the mech. I liked the way it looked, I just I, everything about it I really liked. But when it comes down to performance for me, I'm actually not the best Cy Cyclops pilot. I don't think that the Cyclops is definitely it's not one of those assault mechs that's that's definitely like brawling their, their their balls off like you know so there are some assault mechs that can do that really really well and uh, lore wise I know the Cyclops was a support mech um, you know hence the giant antenna on its <clears throat> on its back there it was a command vehicle actually or a command mech or something like that you know what I mean whatever that thing is I'm trying to put words together and make them come out of my mouth right now um, it's this really good looking mech too it's a good looking mech. Cyclops all the way around. Awesome design. Awesome design. And look at those hard points. Hell yeah. Alright, let's take a look in the mech lab here. And um, don't pay attention to this. <coughs> I'm not. <coughs> this is. Uh, dual LB20s is definitely a build that you want to try. As far as what else you're going to put on there. Medium pulse lasers, maybe. But I'm actually not going to use this one right now. We're not going to use that. Not yet. Not yet. So here's what we're going to do. Take everything off here. I'm going to show you what this thing comes with. We got four ballistic, four energy, and one missile hardpoint. Four ballistics. As you can tell, those go in the torsos. You've got two energy in your right arm, an energy in your head, and you have an energy in your left arm as well. And not only that, but you do have a missile hardpoint in your CT, so it's got a little bit of everything. Um, here's the deal. So I'm going to try to make this quick. If you're wanting to use heavy gas or LBX20s like I just like I just had on here, you have to go with the standard engine. You have to. There's no other option. You won't be able to fit anything else. If you decide to go standard, then you can do that. If you want to go with the light engine, your light engine's probably going to put it. Your engine's going to pop out to probably like right the two slots there on each side. So. Um, you can't go with LB20s or heavy goss, but you can go with regular goss or AC20s. If you decide to go XL engine, you can go with anything that's under an AC20. Um, for AC10s, not gonna work. Nope. Won't even work with the standard engine. So, you're limited to certain things, but you, you can do, you know, 
two LBX20s or two AC20s or two UMAC20s as possible. I find that two AC20s is rather hot, um, so um, I like mix mixing an AC10 in there with it. I fire them on separate weapon groups, of course, but two AC20s is a little bit too hot for me. Um, it does rack up quite a bit. Uh, yeah, it's a good looking Mac. It really is. We're gonna. I'm gonna put a build together real quick, um, and we will see you guys on the battlefield. HPG manifold in the Cyclops Lipnir, the hero. So yeah, um, this is a different build here. This is an AC20, AC10, and then I've got medium lasers. Going with two AC20s, um, it's doable, definitely it's doable, but it, it was just getting so overwhelmingly hot. Um, and with that said, you work on your operations uh, skills and that should take care of most of that problem. At the same time, um, mixing AC10s with AC20s is something that I've been doing. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. Um, but if you haven't tried it, I would suggest trying it. Unless you're comfortable with using two AC20s, which is fine. Two LBX20s is, is a lot of fun too, and that's the one that I really want to do. But I'm just trying to get a video out right now, kind of just, you know, just some play some matches here. New target acquired. Oh, he's hurt. And I do wish that the, um... Watch that left side. God. Yeah, the swing and left through the D4. The ballistic car points in the delta, TC delta, delta, delta. are... Oh, Sun Spider. We're just going to get up here. We're going to try to stay up here as long as I can. Oh, Delta's done. Delta both shoulders. Push him off the top, guys. Everybody up. That means you too, learn boat. Otherwise, you're gonna get caught out alone. He's right. New target acquired. The ballistic hard points in the chest are just. They can go higher, but you have to mount. You know, maybe mounting a, a couple machine guns would be worth it. There we go. Because they uh they are a little bit low. If you notice, as I was going up the ramp. Ooh, Hatamoto. I was, uh... They're rolling that left oh, side. Oh, man. Sorry, Watch our heat. Right. Echo 5. Watch our heat. Ooh. New target acquired. India, India. Focus that Timberwolf, guys. New target acquired. Put everything on India. Timberwolf. Alright. Seems, seems like they got acquired. India. Going to hide. Ah, come on. New target acquired. Finish him off, guys. He's almost done. The number and jump for the number. Got him. All right. Let's go for this Timby right here. Look, you can barely see him. He's hiding. It's hard to see, isn't he? Got him. All right. Timby down. Shift him left to Echo Five. Five. Shift the group. So Pick yeah. Up, dude. Just push it. Roll him. Yeah, yeah, you guys got the numbers. Just flip down there at go five. Everybody, go for them. Kilo, you got the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Cyclops, here's the thing. Um, skill it up. Next, Definitely skill it up as much guy. as you can. Wanna... I still got a lot of skilling to do here. Um, it's a, uh, it's a really good mech. This variant is a lot of fun because there's a lot of options. And. Uh, Two more left. The other one was sighted underneath. Cyclops is definitely a good one. I would definitely get this. Good hero mech. Um, a lot of options. Really, it's, it really depends on what engine you want to go with. That's what. That's what's really going to set what you can do with it. So, um, LB twenties, LBX twenties. You got to go standard. Remember that. AC twenties, you can go light. If you're going XL, I don't really. I wouldn't recommend it, but. It comes with an XL engine, so you don't have to do much. If you're going dual gas, 
Um, I would still go light, even if you're going dual gas. That's it. That's it. Yes. So yeah, it was decent. Um, a couple matches we played. We played uh, basically them back to back. Two different little builds here. Each one's pretty pretty good. Um, yeah. We got three killing blows. We got two KMDDs. We're earning those C bills. Last match we got a ton of XP. This match was okay. Um, you know, I uh, the two LBX twenty build. And uh, is the one I'm gonna try to really do work on and get a video out for that. But this thing, I mean, as you can see, it can perform pretty well. It's a really good mech, and um, definitely one to think about getting. We will see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your day, Fuzzy Nova. Out.